welcome to the Lanfan October release. Um, today we're sneak peeking our first set called Bows and Holly, and uh, we're doing a whole bunch of stuff on the blog. We already have a giveaway where you could win all four stamps from this release, and a giveaway where you could win Bows and Holly today, including lots of inspiration from the design team. But today I just wanted to show you some of the images from this set and, uh, and the fun things that you can do with them. It's a Christmas set, but it really has a lot of um, year-round um, applications, which I just love. So um, I wanted to show you kind of the the big, what I would call the statement piece of this set is this wreath here, and I just adore it. It's asking to be colored with Copics or color pencils, anything. Um, it's just so pretty. So here's the wreath stamped out. And it's just so pretty. One of the fun things you can do with this wreath is this bow here. You could actually cut this bow out um, and use it separately for something else on a card. Um, and it's a girl card would be really cute to use this bow on. Um, but the full wreath can work too. So I kind of like that it has the double use on it. And then the other big image from this set is this present. Now this present is definitely has year-round implications because it's perfect for a Christmas present and a Christmas card, but if you color it other colors than red and green, you have a birthday card or you have um, a wedding shower card or anything where you give somebody a present. Um, you have that. So it all just depends on how you color it, how you paper piece it, or what color ink you stamp it in. Um, and you get this really fun present. So um, as you can tell, we have lots of bows in this set, which I love because you guys know I cannot, I'm really not good at tying bows. So now I can just stamp them. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> so one of the really other fun images we have in this set is this tag. Now this tag could work really well on its own. It, uh, it would be really cute. Right now tags are really in, you know, people are using them actually on their cards or just making tags by themselves. So I actually think it would be a really fun, clean and simple card would be to use this tag image because we have all these sentiments that fit inside of it. But one other really fun thing about this tag is it doesn't have to be by itself. It actually fits perfectly on the present. So you can see how cute that looks. Um, kind of flying off the present like that. So I just wanted to show you some of the sentiments that fit inside this. Um, one of my favorites is the to you from me and uh, that, this is something you could use all year round this sentiment and it would be a sweet sentiment um, on anything. The other fun thing you could use this tag on would be on a little mini card for some baked goods or something you brought to a neighbor. I think it would be really cute instead of just putting a tag on it. Um, I, I don't know, I think that'd be funny. So a little mini, a mini tag on a mini card. And I just want to show you some of the other sentiments that we have going on. We have a happy holidays and all these sentiments work well on their own but they also fit inside the tag. And so they have kind of that double use which is really great. We have Noel. which looks really pretty. And then you can see on its own how nice that is. And one of the other fun things we have is we have this for you sentiment, but we also have one that says with love. So you can actually combine them or do them separately. So you could have a tag that says with love and that could be Valentine's or, but if you do uh, for you with love, just line them up on your block, just like this. Now you've kind of got two different uses for these stamps and it fits perfectly inside the tag for you with love. So it's a little more, you know, loving than the to you from me <laughs> one from before. So that's really fun. Uh, one of the other fun things I wanted to show you is um, we have mistletoe, which I just think is so adorable because I keep envisioning cards using critters from either Critters in the Sea or Critters in the Burbs underneath the mistletoe and it'd be a really sweet Christmas card for your spouse or um, boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other of some sort and uh, they could be underneath the mistletoe and I just think it would be really cute. So uh, that's really fun. Um, we have lots of bows in this set so I just want to show you another one. Oop. Here's another bow and this one goes really well um, right over the mistletoe on a card which is really sweet. And let's see, oh the last thing I wanted to show you is we have this really large Merry Christmas which I just love um, how, how big it is and how long it is. Um, this would actually even work really well on a layout. So let me just stamp that out for you so you can see. 
But you know, sometimes having a sentiment that long is not what you want. Well, the great thing about this particular sentiment is there's enough space in between these letters that you can ink them up separately. So, if you just get on your ink pad right on the edge there and ink that up and just stamp that. So there's the Mary. And Mary by itself would be really sweet on a card too. And I'm just wiping it off, the ink off, so that I don't stamp the Mary again. Now I'm just getting, I'm gonna get the Christmas. So just going right on the edge there of that ink pad. And then I can put that right below the Mary. And now we have the same sentiment, which actually has a very different look than the long one on top of each other. And it was really easy to do. Um, so that's really great. So anyways, um, this is the Bows and Holly stamp set. I hope you guys have had fun getting this sneak peek. We have three more days of sneak peeks, so you'll be seeing me on videos. Make sure you head on over to the blog and, uh, and enter to win these sets and see the amazing inspiration from the design team. These girls are seriously amazing. So you have to go check it out and make sure you leave comments to win. I'll have links all over the place. So um, here's just one more look at Bows and Holly, and, uh, and we can't wait to show you what's next. Have a great day. Bye.